Welcome to our Athletic Reformer class. Thank you so much for coming and working out with me and taking your time out of your day. We are going to be using the spine corrector along with the reformer today and also an optional thing to add will be hand weights. Anything like five pounds and below, I'm more at like a three pound um, weight here of what I'm holding. Set up your bar in the middle position and then I suggest putting one heavy and one medium medium spring onto your carriage. Let's come and you're gonna sit onto that corrector just in the well, whichever, whatever works best for you. And if any, for any reason, some of you have the ones that are like leather and wood, I know you can't put them on top of your reformer, but if you have like an arc, if you wanna substitute with, you could even put like the foam roller behind you. I just wanna try and be cognizant to the fact that we don't always have the same exact equipment, but there's ways of like making it work, <laughs> okay? So for me, what I like to do is I like to actually just kind of scooch down a little bit um, so that my um, kind of ribs are supported by the corrector. For starters, let's just keep your weights down on the carriage but not have them in your hands right away. All right, so just press your legs all the way away and let's start in a first position, heels together, toes apart, and I'm gonna reposition. I might actually wanna stay up, yeah, okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys kind of choose what position feels best for you. Our upper bodies are fully lifted and already in a bit of a curl forward. Your pelvis is in a tuck, so you really want to press that low body back against the arc behind you. We're going to start by just holding onto the front edges of the arc. You're going to keep your heels glued together, and we're not doing footwork here. We're actually going to jump on and off of that bar. So in order to start, you're just going to do like a teeny little push off little baby push off and come back in. So don't go launching really far back behind you to begin. Just kind of warm it up nice and slow here. <laughs> and especially if you've never done this before, it just feels a little bit scary. You wanna make sure that your gaze never leaves your bar. So keep your eyes now on that foot bar since it's obviously like a small, um, space to land on right and then the other thing is you're going to be landing on the balls of your feet just below the toes and you'll be launching off that same area so you're not going to be landing anywhere else on the foot not the arches not the heels okay good now let's focus on keeping those heels glued together so there's like super glue they're not slipping over each other they're staying glued together nice long straight legs you can start bringing a little bit more air into that jump if you feel comfortable and let's keep jumping but we're going to bring the feet parallel legs together so squeeze the knees and the inner thighs together. Point the toes as you launch off. That's it, keep pulling that core back and in. So you're gonna feel on that jump out that need to really pull the core in, otherwise it's gonna wanna float up and your low back is gonna lift off of that arc behind you. Good, so remember, even though we're jumping on and off this small surface, we can still articulate through the foot and the ankle. Okay. Let's go a couple more here and pick up those weights into your hands. Bring your elbows into your sides. We're gonna come back into first position, gluing those heels together, toes are apart. And on the jump out, we're gonna reach up and in. Good, let's count eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two, one, pull it in and stop your jump for a moment. You're gonna switch the arms so your elbows are wide, weights are right in front of your chest. We're still in that first position. Keep your gaze on that bar and as we jump out, we're going to um, sort of fly the legs out to the width of the carriage. So it looks like this, okay? Arms and legs out and then they come back in together. Okay, so you wanna be quick at bringing those heels back together right before you land your jump. Take it for eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> sorry, three, two, one. Keep jumping legs together in parallel. Don't stop your jump, okay. Little change here as we jump in and out like this. 
We're gonna go right arm up, left arm out, and back in. And then alternate each time, right? So you're making an L with those arms. That's it. You've got it. So we're kind of throwing ourselves off our midline there by having one weight go off to one side. So really draw your core in and back to hold that midline down your center line. Good for four more. Three, two, one. Keep jumping, just pull the arms in. You've got it. Separate the legs to sit bones apart and keep your feet in parallel. We're gonna, <laughs> we're, I'm laughing because I'm like, we're gonna slow our jump. No, we're not. We're gonna keep going like this. <laughs> okay. So here, we're gonna go back to opening the arms into a T as we jump. Hold your T here. And now on your jump out, lift the arms up and wide. Up and wide. Up and wide. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in. <laughs> Good job, you guys. <laughs> Way to start, right? Okay, you're gonna reach down and take off your one medium spring. I know that you are not out of breath because <laughs> I get out of breath because of all the talking I do in the middle of it, but I know you guys are like sailing and cruising. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring ourselves back <laughs> into the same position. And let's see, we're going to come into some single leg work. So let's start jumping on the left foot only. Right leg reaches out over your foot bar. Keep your hands in at your waist for right now and just start this jump. Sometimes when this leg is coming in towards your uh, field of vision, it's hard to keep the eyes on the foot bar. So just kind of establish this first. You have a lot more hang time back there. Again, more focus onto that core. And we're gonna go L arms just to the left with a right up each time for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, we're gonna jump off the left and over onto the right. Hold the arms in, just find it here first. Keep pulling your core back, and I'm like really hoping that you guys feel the burn in your abs, that's it. Good. Keep that tail tucked underneath you. When you're ready, you're gonna add those L arms, left arm up, right arm out on your jump, and come in on at the bar, that's it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, Whew. pull it in. Oh my goodness, you can let yourself just stretch it back if you want, just to stretch out that core a little bit. When you come back forward, you're gonna bring your um, feet into a first position on the bar, heels together, toes apart. We are gonna be jumping back onto that left foot. Reach your right leg straight out over the corner of the bar, okay, to the right, right? All right, we're gonna start with our arms up and the arms reach to a T. The right leg pulls to the center line and squeezes shut to your left leg that jumps straight out and in. And when you come in to the bar, you open that right leg out over the corner. Does that make sense? I hope you can see it too visually. All right, let's count here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, make it seamless. One, jump onto the right leg and left pulls in. Now the arms lift up on the way out and open on the way in. Find it first. Sometimes it takes a little bit and we'll count here, counting down from eight. 
seven, keep that curl forward in the tuck of the tail for six, five, four, three, two, last one, both feet on, oh, and bring it all the way in. I don't know about you, but I am gonna go hands behind my head, close that carriage, and just open that chest and let it relax back over the arc of that barrel. Woo, definitely felt it in the abs. It's definitely more in this one, like a focus on your core than legs per se, as we're on lighter springs, right? Okay guys, from here, let's actually turn to our left side, staying with our left hip in the well here. You can um, keep your weights on the carriage so they're accessible to you. And I would like to add that one medium spring back on. So we've got one medium and one heavy. You're gonna take one weight into your hand, lower yourself down here on this barrel. Make sure that you can see your um, foot bar. If you feel like you need to be up a little bit higher on your forearm in order to see your foot bar, you can do that. Just starting with this top, foot jumping, make it just a little baby push off from those toes. Now I look over at you, but I need to watch my foot bar also to see where I'm landing. Now, check in with your alignment. Make sure the toes are pointing forward. And when your foot comes onto that bar, the heel is in line with the midfoot. So your heel shouldn't be down here, shouldn't be up here either, yeah? Also make sure that as you bend into this knee, it's pointing straight forward, not down or up, okay? So just kind of check in where your alignment's at. Good. Now, since we're working in parallel, let's also make sure that this top hip is over top the bottom hip. So you can find yourself kind of rolling back a little bit. Careful not to do that. Stay stacked. You're really gonna get that work right where you want it to be. Now we add the top arm. So on the jump out, we're gonna lift up and down. Up and down, that's it. Good, elbow to waist and then just straighten the arm up towards the ceiling. Let's go for four, we've done a lot of these. Three, two, keep jumping in one, just come into a turnout. Now remember, you're always on the pad of the foot. With this turnout, we allow the top hip to roll back so the hips are no longer perfectly stacked here. And then we continue the same movement with the arm. You've got it. That's it. Call these eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two and one. Go back parallel, come in for a moment just to get this hip forward and right stacked over your, um, your bottom hip. All right, so we're gonna go back to just the first jumps we started with. We're still on this spring that pulls us in quickly. So we're gonna do a little tiny lift up towards the ceiling and it's small because we come back in quite quickly. Let's go six and five, four, after one, we're gonna do the same thing with a little press to the back. Here we go, out and press to the back. It's small, little press to the back. Can we add the arm that when we press to the back, we punch forward and in. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Sit it all the way up guys, and you're gonna take that one medium spring off again, so we're left with just one heavy. Come back into the same position and turn that top leg into an external rotation. So we're gonna start with this weight in our top hand, and we're sort of arcing over, looking down towards the elbow, and however, 
looking down towards the elbow, kidding you, or looking at the foot bar, I totally caught myself, that would be a bit of a problem. Looking at the foot bar, we got this arc. As we go out, we pull elbow to knee and come back into that arc. So you're kind of trying to come into a little side crunch here at the top. Find the movement first, and now let's count down from eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way in. Set your weight down and let's pop up and put your one medium spring on and take your one heavy spring off. Then, hopefully, you can reach down into your well and grab your strap, all right? This strap is gonna go into your top hand. These legs are just gonna hang out here. If you wanna be really evil and mean to yourself, <laughs> you're gonna extend this top leg like so and carry it over the top of this bar the whole time. We're gonna take the top arm, we're gonna pull it down to the hip and then lift it up. Pull it down and lift it up. And no, I'm really not gonna do that with my leg, but I know that some of you are looking for that harder. So there's your advanced, advanced movement, if you will, okay? When you bring this arm to the top, you do not need to be bringing it here overhead. I'd much prefer to see it straight over your shoulder than over your ear or beyond, okay? Just a little bit easier for shoulders. Let's go for two more and one. Hold it long by your side, reach straight forward of the chest and then pull back to the hip. Straight forward and pull back. You've got it. Straight forward and pull back. How are you guys doing? Forward. This is our rest. <laughs> and pull back. Go for two more and pull back. One more. Pull it back, hold your arm long by your side. You're gonna bend into the elbow. Think of a tricep to press and press. You're gonna bend and press. Good. Four more. And three. And two. He's always got me. And one. Woo. You're going to sit it up a little bit and then slip that top foot into that strap. All right. Totally up to you. You can be down here on the elbow. You can be lifted up on your forearm. Carry your top leg the level of the hip and we're going to swing that leg forward and swing it back. You can make your swing as big as you want as long as the pelvis stays stable. So both your pubic bone and your tailbone, your two reference points are pointing that way towards the foot bar, then you can swing your leg and go for range. If those points are starting to roll under you and roll back behind you, then reduce your range, okay? Let's go for three more. And two. Whew. Getting some hip work. And one, get that leg all the way behind you, rotate your chest up and forward to the outside of the frame. Little circles here for eight, seven, six, pressing through the heel for four, three, two, one, reverse for eight, seven, six, get the top part of that circle for three, two, one, oh my goodness, bend it in, pound it out for a minute if you need to, because I do, <laughs> okay, and we're continuing on this leg, so <laughs> go back down to your elbow, and you're going to extend this leg straight forward, 90 degree bend at the hip. Flexing through the foot, you're gonna lower and lift for six, five, four, three, pull your butt back, two, one. Externally rotate the leg from the hip, down and up for six, five, four, three, two, one. Internally rotate from the hip, pull your butt back, go one, two, three, four, five, six, oh my heavens, bend it in and just pound it out. If you have not had enough, 
I don't know what to say because <laughs> I have. <laughs> it's like, thank you, thank you. Thank you and good night. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and come up to seated. Thanks for moving with me, you guys. If you liked this workout, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Come over to my website at goneadventuring.com if you're interested in more full-length workouts or live classes each week. Join us. Let's do this together at any time from anywhere. I'll see you soon.